Today on the show, we're going to be talking about Secret Wars, all-female Avengers book, A-Force, and what's happened so far. So issue number one starts out with A-Force doing her patrol of the island. We see the Baroness of the island is She-Hulk and she is very very close with Medusa and Spider-Woman. When a giant shark attacks the island it's up to the members of A-Force to assemble and do their job and this is when we meet the core members. Captain Marvel, Nico Minoru, and here she actually goes by Sister Grimm, which is kind of weird considering she never really used that name in the comics past the first run of The Runaways. And then we also have Dazzler, who is some of the best dialogue in the series so far, and then Miss America. And for those of you that don't know Ms. America, Ms. America, she's essentially like Captain America meets Ms. Marvel, and she can hop through dimensions. This is when America throws the shark away across the wall that protects the rest of Battleworld from the Deadlands and on its way down it damages the wall as well. Because of this America has forsaken Doom's law and has to be punished. She-Hulk tries bartering with Doctor Strange trying to get America out of this but he is not willing to budge on this because as far as he's considered Doom's law is God's law. It's then revealed that America and Nico are actually Loki's wards in this universe. And Loki comes along to ask what's gone on, and America explains everything, and just before she's taken away, has one last goodbye. And then the Thors come along, and in a flash of light, America is gone, leaving Loki heartbroken, and Nico blaming herself. Later that day, She-Hulk decides she's going to prove the innocence of America, so she calls the Submariners, and they dive into the oceans of Arcadia because She-Hulk believes that that shark thing was not native to Arcadia. It was planted there by something else. Meanwhile elsewhere, Nico is sat by a lighthouse and she sees something fall from the sky, and this thing turns out to be a girl which looks like the universe incarnate, but that's very, very strange because according to Doom, there is nothing above the clouds. Issue number two picks up with the submariners finding a portal to other parts of Battleworld, but as they find it, it begins to close. The next day, it's revealed that Nico has taken her new friend home, and the new friend has recovered from falling from the sky somehow, and this is when Loki walks in and is like, look, I know you're sad and stuff, but we don't know who this girl is, and I don't want you being taken away by the Thors too, so I'm gonna go tell A-Force about this girl, and you have to come with me. The girl is brought before A-Force, and all is going fine until the girl gets scared, and a portal opens up just above her, and a sentinel jumps out. And with the girl's help, A-Force is able to destroy the sentinel. But this is when Medusa is like, so the girl causes portals, great, we're going to take her to Doom, right, and prove America's innocence. And she hulks like, we don't have enough proof yet, we haven't actually seen this girl make a portal. And if she really did fall from the sky, there is no way she caused the first portal, so I'm going in, okay bye! She hulks, jumps in a portal, and on the other side, there is a wasteland that she has never seen before. On the other side, she's attacked by sentinels and three Thors, and the Thors tell her that she is not where she belongs, and as a result, she has broken the laws of Battleworld. So She-Hulk jumps right back up into the portal, and as she's jumping through it, she says the magic that makes the portal is coming from Arcadia. And as she ends up in the other side, she says Arcadia has a traitor, and this is when the Thors follow her straight back through. The Thors still want to take She-Hulk away, and this is when Medusa steps in, stops the Thors, and is electrocuted to death, but this gives She-Hulk enough time to escape with the rest of A-Force. That night, bells ring through Arcadia as Storm makes a mist, and they warn the civilians that their time of peace has come to an end. And that's when our little universe incarnate girl reveals that She-Hulk can hide inside of her. And that's where we're at with A-Force so far. It's probably my third 
favorite Secret Wars book. It's being written so well, the characters are so great. I put links to mycomicshop.com down below to where you can read this comic. You've got no excuse now. Definitely go and pick this up. It's one of my favorite things from this event. Okay guys, that is it for today. So what do you think of A-Force? Please let me in the comments down below. And also don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more history videos. And also don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, support the show by checking out my Patreon if you'd like to see bigger and better and more history videos. And also don't forget to subscribe to my blogging channel if you'd like to start your day with me every single day. My name is Faust, this has been Exploring Comics and it is super effective.